June 2nd, 2011. Yeah, I know I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, been doing these news articles for about a year now. Uh, if you go back and check my old videos, and I was watching some of those old videos, and I'm just as terrible as I uh, began. So I'm going to kind of get away from the sit down and try to read it off the computer screen kind of news. Um, I will still be posting um, news articles I find, whatnot, you know, the ones with the music. And uh, just decided to get outside. So uh, <clears throat> I'll kind of be hiking. Uh, got a weighted pack on my back, I'm trying to put on um, at least three to five miles a day. And uh, I'll be shooting videos of that and kind of talking about. Ooh, there goes a deer. <laughs> Talking about uh, what's going on in the world. Because we had some tornadoes up in Massachusetts and saw some videos of that. That was pretty crazy. And they're not really used to that. They're saying the last time they had a, a tornado that powerful was like back in the late 60s. So, uh, definitely some record breaking weather going on there. Um, they uh, deployed a thousand National Guard to, to go help with the cleanup and security because you got all the rubberneckers out there and whatnot. Um, and France is uh, reporting like a major, major drought. Now you got to remember that 70% uh, of France's power comes from nuclear energy, and a lot of those nuclear power plants are right on river basins and they use a tremendous amount of water to keep the the reactors cool of course and that will definitely um, dive into the water use for everything else and uh, the amount of energy they're going to be able to produce this year so uh, Europe's in for some trouble at least France <clears throat> and we got a couple of volcanoes uh, gearing up for sure uh, the Tal Volcano in the Philippines like just major fish kills in the lake that's up in the crater and uh, they're expecting that volcano to uh, to erupt here anytime shortly and another volcano in Indonesia uh, Mount Ding D-I-E-N-G and uh, there are some major gaseous outbursts and uh, Again, the volcano is ready to get very, very active. Oh, so nice down here. So I'm down by the river. Like I said, I'm just kind of hiking, getting into shape. I'm going to try to put in some three to five miles a day. Uh, with a weighted pack, of course, I'm weighting it down with water, and that way if I have to dump it, I don't feel like I'm polluting or anything. And, uh, what else is going on? Oh yeah, that, uh, tropical depression that's down in the Gulf of Mexico right now. <clears throat> that thing started in Iowa last week. If you go back and check back the records. Because I remember them, uh, the Weather Channel saying, if this was over land or if this was over water, it'd be a tropical depression. Well, that thing shot off the East Coast, down the Atlantic coast, and crossed over Florida. And uh, they're saying it's finally going to break up, whatnot. But that was something definitely weird and a big circle, if you think about it. So, uh, yeah. But again, I don't have my computer in front of me, so. I'm not going to get into too much. And I don't know how long I'm going to let this uh, this video go. I just kind of kind of walk down the woods here, and I got some homeless people down here in these woods. I'll try not to disturb them. And uh, it's a beautiful day. We got storms to the south of us. And uh, they're saying it's supposed to get hot here. Uh, I'm down here messing around down by the river. 
and it's up, but not too crazy. I'm gonna make the Grays Lake run today, so basically I'm gonna walk clear down the river on the bike trail here after this uh, next road down here. And then take the bike trail all the way down to the park and back. And uh, that'll put me right in my four and a half mile or so range, so should be an interesting hike. And uh, like I said, I didn't disappear, just kind of reevaluating what I'm doing. And uh, <laughs> you gotta admit, I'm a terrible anchor, terrible news anchor. But I'll keep throwing stories at you anyway. Um, <clears throat> but I'm gonna bring you outside with me, get you out of the house. There, that's facing south. And all that's heading to Davenport and Illinois. They're catching the weather today. I don't think it's supposed to be too severe though. Calling for afternoon thunderstorms here. Coming up on the camps here pretty quick. The weather got nice, a lot of people moved on, or got moved on, you know how it goes. And uh, we had a handful of little shanties down here that are gone now too. Everybody's down here, it's down here in tents. So maybe that's the deal with the city and the homeless. As long as you stick to the tents and keep it clean, they don't kick you out. But I guess I'll have to look into that, won't I? This is downtown Des Moines, mere blocks. from downtown. But people have been staying down here for decades and decades and decades. It's kind of the spot. There's a few places down along the rivers here in Des Moines that uh, homeless people tend to congregate around. That's where the guys marked his entrance to his little camp and again probably got a dozen or more little camps down here and again just tents nothing major and I want you moving in permanent But anyway, I figure 10 minutes is about long enough. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the weekend. And if uh, I see anything new, I'll definitely let you know. There's one more big camp down here, I guess. St. Kaway Campground, down by the river. So. Have a good one and get outside and do something.